Well, thank you so much, Dr. Stella Nyanzi, for your time. You are a human rights activist, an academic guru, and a fierce critic of Uganda's president, Yuwari Museveni. But today you're here in Kenya seeking asylum. Maybe just tell us a little bit more about that and exactly what happened. I'm in Kenya because Ugandans in the opposition who have criticized the government of Yoweri Museven openly are getting abducted every day from the streets, from their homes, from their beds because Ugandans are kidnapped from private cars and thrown in detention facilities where they are tortured during interrogation. And the interrogation is not about crime. It's about what do you plan in terms of the next steps of the liberation struggle. The fear of not knowing who will be taken next. My friends have been abducted. My partner has been abducted. I think I'm fortunate that I, I got out when I could. I think um, I'm also quite apprehensive and anxious because I know that Kenya is not necessarily the safest place. Yori Museveni has his long tentacles in this country. Defending her methods of activism, including the use of profanities, Nyanzi said it was necessary to pass the message as it attracted the years and attention of those in power. I am one of the few Ugandans who has been charged, not once, twice for offending the dictator. So they work. He is not listening to polite talk. He is not listening to policy documents. He's not listening even to foreign critique, right? He's not listening to advocacy or lobbying or anything else, but he listened. The entire judicial process, the entire judicial system in Uganda stopped for a while and intelligence had to investigate me for days and months. I was in court, right? So he heard. For now, she says she's focused on ensuring her family is safe. I think for now, I am just like, thank you, God, I am out. My kids are out. Like, I'm not very godly, but beating Yoweri Museveni and fleeing, I should, I should have a party. The mother of three had this message for Ugandans. Move away from the elections, move on and... It is our responsibility. We owe it to our children, our grandchildren, and to history and to posterity to reclaim our power, reclaim our constitution, reclaim our dignity as human beings from Yoweri Museveni and the small group of henchmen that have continued to abuse and oppress our country.